Hi, I'm Vincent. I'm the mayor of the city of Kortrijk. And we would like to welcome you to Parkfest King Kong. Hi, I am Fred Hush. It's Wednesday night and I'm hosting King Kong Park Fest. Hope you enjoy it. Hey, what's up? It's Kenny Lark and I'm here in Belgium at Park Fest. You're listening to and you're watching DJSounds.com. A lot of people, I think the majority of the people in Western civilization, uh, one of the biggest loves is music. Music can transcend everything. It can trans transcend cultures, language, uh, uh, geography. It doesn't matter where you're from. You can go to a party and DJ, and you can rock the crowd, and none of them can speak your language, and it doesn't matter. So music is one of those only things that allows you to do that. So this is why I'm so... And, and when you can do something that you love doing, why not? And then, I, like I said, I've been doing this for a long time, and I have I, I got a little uh, not unmotivated uh, a few years, maybe ten years ago, with dance music and what it, how it sounded, and all this stuff. But I got this, uh, I, you know, I, I, I got this new lease on life with the dance music. It's really, really huge now in the states now. But it's the EDM stuff. It's not, it's not my stuff. It's the commercial stuff. But it's still, it's opening a lot of doors and it's getting me a little bit more excited to keep doing the music, so. My music used to be cerebral years ago. Like you would listen to it, not in the club, you would be at home sitting down, chilling, listening to my music. But lately I've, I've uh, started doing more stuff geared towards the dance floor. So now, if you look up my recent remixes, you'll hear them and see what I'm talking about. It's more, it's not cerebral anymore, it's more, uh, not healing, that's the wrong word. If I, if I heard the word, I would know exactly what it is, but I can't put my finger on it. You would know it. If you, if, no, you would fucking feel it. You don't have to know the word, you would feel it. Because I can look out in the crowd and tell that a lot of, uh, I do this all the time when I play a lot of these parties, that the kids are younger, and I want to kind of educate them and let them know that there's more funky stuff uh, out there as far as electronic music. A lot of EDM is so huge and, and soulless. So I try to, uh, when I do tell a story, go up and down. I might play some puppy stuff, but it's still something funky in that, in that sound that I play. If I play something more housey, you're gonna hear the funkiness in it. Uh, it could be some old classic stuff that these kids haven't heard. It could be 20 years old, or I could have just bought it like two hours ago on the internet. But whatever I do, the story is gonna be a funky story, up and down, telling a story. Instead of like playing a bangy track after bangy track after, and the whole night is like this. You don't see any peaks and valleys. So I'm making my mission to like do the peaks and valleys so you can kind of ride the train. So that's what I do. I started in 1989 with Richie Houghton back in Detroit. Before Richie was Richie. <laughs> he was a little nerdy dude <laughs> who lived in Canada and we used to go downtown Detroit and check out all these weird sounds and uh, clubs downtown. And it was actually Detroit Techno which is a uh, precursor to all this stuff that's on the radio today, so. I've been in the game a long time. Lately, I've been doing a lot of remixes. Uh, it tends to take me too long to do music on my own because I'm too critical of my stuff. So it's better to do remixes, and the remixes I've been doing lately, they've been getting a lot of attention, so. Uh, this is kind of like my second uh, second wind in the dance music thing, scene and everybody's trying to get me to do the remixes and blah blah blah. So it's cool that uh, unlike uh, pop music, if you get over a certain age and you, uh, you might be 40, 40 kid, people tend to lose interest. But in electronic music, you can be 60 and if the track is banging, it's banging. Ain't nobody gonna, you know, be a, be a prejudice against your age or whatever. So we can, we, I can do this until I'm 80 or retire, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm going to run for president. Vote for me.
actually the second time that I organized Parkfest. It's a side project from King Kong Club. It's once a year and this time uh, I invite a living legend, Kenny Larkin. Uh, so he's playing at 9.30 p.m. and I'm really looking forward to his sets and to play with him. My sound in general, I um, think it has to be um, like a bit darky, a bit funky. Uh, not too fast, 1 to 4, 1 to 3 BPM, but always banging and it's got to be menace in, in it. So um, that the crowd really feels it in their stomach and it then goes up. I actually had a real pleasant summer because there's so much to do in Belgium alone and I'm from Belgium. I had the honor to um, play the same weekend at uh, Tomorrowland, uh, Jamie Jones stage, Paradise. So that was really amazing. And the day after, I played at 10 days off um, in Ghent, Vooruit. Uh, I played with Tale of Us, uh, Mine Against and Val. So, and then I finished for them. So yeah, it's pretty well. The effects on my set, uh, I really like to play with uh, effects on the Pioneer uh, mix table, actually. Um, I really like to feel the buttons and then put on two effects on both faders and then wipe out the bass and then just push it back in to really get that climax sound. Yeah. 